what is up guys uh, today I want to show you how to make a PSP game boot and I've made a video on this before but uh, I looked at it recently and I realized it's crap so um so yeah uh, a couple things to get started you're going to want to download your video clip or make your video clip or how, whatever you want to your game boot to be um, you're gonna want something short because remember you do have to look at this every time that um that you start up a homebrew or a game or something so I just downloaded this right here a PlayStation 3 game boot that I will it's an mp4 that I downloaded from YouTube and I will convert it to a PMF and then put it on my PSP so to get started you you have to download lots of things you need to download AVI Simp. you need to download an audio converter software I'll be using Ease Audio Converter you can um you need a video editing software. I'll be using Sony Vegas. Um, you need Virtual Dub Mod, and you need UMD Stream Composer, and an MPS to PMF converter. Oh, you can find download links to all these in the description, except for Vegas. You're on your own. Um, you know, gotta get your own uh, video editing software. Oh, I'm sure a lot of you already know or of or have one or something. Anyways, um. So yeah, you're going to want to go ahead and open up your video editing software and drag in the clip right here. And as you see here, um it's already too like the entire clip is like is what I want the game boot to be, so I don't I don't have to do any cuts or edits or anything like that. But I I'll just um fix a couple of things here first. I want it to be widescreen of course because the PSP is sixteen by nine aspect ratio. So hit NTSC um, widescreen, apply, OK, and um, that's about it, pretty much. Um, I don't have to do anything else to this video. On your video, if you want to get rid of the letterboxing, as some of you may have, you're going to want to go here, right click, match output aspect, and that's it. So you're going to want to head and render this, and you want to save it as a video for Windows, and I'm rendering this in the widescreen preset, the NTSC DV widescreen. So you want to go ahead and name this game boot dot AVI, and I will save this to the desktop. So go ahead and render. All right, and here it is, game boot dot AVI. Now we don't need these files anymore, so um, probably be best to get rid of some of that clutter. Um, next thing you're going to have this file right here called gameboot.avs um, I will provide a link for that as well um, and this is why you need AVI synth is for that to work so drag it inside of the same directory you have your gameboot.avs that you'll download I just have it inside of this folder here that's called PMF tools because I have all my stuff in here so you're going to want to drag it in the same file as that the same folder or whatever and then open up virtual dub mod um, file, open video file, and go to where gameboot.avs is. So right there. Don't open the AVI, open the AVS. And it will resize your video to 480 by 272. You want to go ahead and hit stream, stream list. And you're going to want to save your audio to the desktop. I'll just name it um, Game Boot, and you want to save it as a wave and hit save. So here, there we have our Game Boot audio, and you want to disable the audio and go OK. Then you want to save this video as, save it to the desktop. Just name it Game Boot. You know, save it to the desktop and make sure it's an AVI. There we go. That was it. So here we have our our soundless resized video and our sound. Okay. Um next open your audio converter software. Right here you want the output format to go to be wave and drag it in. Go ahead and to settings and make sure your settings match mine. Um custom quality 
frequency 44 100 hertz um stereo 16 bit wave pcm output format and hit start so it finished that quick it was really fast close out the program and just drag this out here um move and replace so now we got our fixed um audio and our fixed video so now we're ready to make the one of the one of the um last files we're going to need open umd stream composer again oh, a link for this will be in the description hit new and just name this whatever you feel like it so i'll just name that psp and project name um i don't know game boot it does it doesn't matter what you name it um check this box here and hit finish now video source open and we're going to open our AVI file and hit OK. Then we hit audio source and then open and hit game boot dot wave. So now we're going to hit run, then encode plus multiplex. This shouldn't take too long to finish it. So we're gonna head and close that and then we can close out of this. Go into your documents. UMD Stream Composer and Mux Work, um, whatever you called it, or actually, yeah, Game Boot, and then right here, and there is your um, your Game Boot. You wanna go ahead and copy that out here to your desktop, and close that out, and we don't need these anymore. Now, your last program is a PMF Creator, which is right here. So you wanna open up your MPS file with browse and right there and then we want to save it to your desktop as um let's see you can name it whatever you want I'll just name mine that and it is saving as PMS also you have to make this the same length as your um your game boot right here with its total time on um, for mine it was two seconds if you don't remember you should probably look at right there it's just two seconds so two hold on all right and that's it that's all you need to do and hit convert and then we can delete that and there is your um game boot the PMF I can't open it with anything because I don't have a software to open this on my computer with, but trust me, it will work. And thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and do all that good stuff you people do.